Hey everyone, I'm CNC Sean, and in this Shop Saber Minute, we're gonna talk about a fourth axis setup. All right, let's talk a little bit about how to set up your fourth axis and how you're gonna use it. In this scenario here, we're gonna use our vacuum hold down on this fixture board to set it up on the X axis. We've got it routed out. We, did, we built this in V-Carve. We've got a slot that fits right tight in. We do have it bolted down to that. The tailstock is also bolted down and adjustable within where our part's gonna be. Now, another option, if you've got T-slots in your table, you could set it up, clamp everything down using the T-slots, get it to the position you need it to be, and you're ready to go. Another option we see is maybe on the outside where a guy's cutting a repeatable part, maybe long part, doesn't really matter, just something they do often or they use the, the uh, fourth axis all the time. They might drill some holes, tap holes into here so that they can set it right into the phenolic and get it into spot. Now, along with each one of those options, you could go into your controller, you can use the part positioning in there and set everything to that position so you can go right back to it every time. These are all great options. And if you're looking for more information on that, be sure to check us out at shopsaber.com. If you wanna see more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks for watching this Shop Saber Minute.